Hello and welcome. My name is Matthias Schwentek. I will introduce you in the next couple of minutes to the polyvagal theory developed by Dr. Stephen Porges. This is a picture of the triune autonomic nervous system. This system is structured as a hierarchy. It is a down-regulation system from the top to the bottom based on cues of safety or danger. The top system is the one that we recruit first, the social engagement system. The social engagement system is responsible for controlling breath, heartbeat, facial expression and voice. There are two main functions in this top-down system. One function is under conditions of stress, where we are not feeling safe. The other is under normal conditions, where we feel safe. Safety here is relative. What is safe for one can be lethal for another, and vice versa, based on individual experience. The nervous system is using a feature called neuroception to detect danger or threats and adapt itself to the environment. If our neuroception signals a potential threat, the first reaction is to operate within the social engagement system and communicate. If communication doesn't bring the body back to a sense of safety, the next level, the sympathetic nervous system, is activated, the flight response. This is a signal to get out of the situation, leave or run. If this isn't an option, the fight response takes over to defend or fight back. The sympathetic nervous system recruits all features of physical movement of the torso and the limbs. If this does not create safety, or if the situation escalates or becomes deadly, the nervous system detects a life threat and the parasympathetic nervous system is getting activated with features of immobilization. This is the freeze response, which is automatically taking over. This includes dissociation, fainting and shock. In other stressful and dangerous situations between social engagement system and sympathetic arousal, protective and defensive behaviors are expressed such as negotiation, appeasement, survival oppression, denial, lying, manipulation, control and passive aggressiveness. It is here important to note that all of these states are well-functioning survival mechanisms that operate involuntary to bring us back into a state of safety or to keep us from feeling pain in the face of death. However, under normal conditions where we feel safe, our nervous system operates in a connecting way through features such as face-to-face -face engagement, eye contact and a soothing or melodic voice. When we are safe and connected, we can engage in activities like work, sport, dancing, yoga, sex or art. It is here where pleasure and physical connection are possible. This safe place of sympathetic arousal is called mobilization. When we have exhausted ourselves, the body can fall into a place of immobilization, where we experience rest and rejuvenation. Here is the place for deep relaxation and ecstatic stages through meditation, sexual engagement and sleep. In this parasympathetic state, our system can rest in the most exquisite way. Depending on the situation and environment, the nervous system can change and shift from one state to another, demonstrated by the arrows. This is where different types of therapy and healing methods can help to restore the body-mind connection and create health rejuvenation and healthy relationship to self and others. Last but not least, where my focus of attention goes, is on the safe side of the nervous system between social engagement system and mobilization. Here is a hybrid state where features of play, sensuality and sexuality are accessible. This is the only part in the nervous system where these states are possible. This is a place where the wheel of consent from Betty Martin fits in, which is a way to create clear verbal agreements that establish a sense of safety and connection. In particular, it is about physical action 
and clear dynamics between giving and receiving. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more, follow the next video, comment in the section below and give a thumb up if you like what I do.